if you've tried installing Windows 11 Insider Preview, or using the Microsoft PC Health Checkup, and were greeted with an error message reading, this PC can't run Windows 11, your system might not have two essential security settings turned on. The first is Secure Boot, and the second is TPM 2.0. After enable those two things in BIOS, then back to Windows Update Settings, and click on Get PC. Your default browser will open, and navigate automatically to PC Health Checkup official page. Then click on Install PC Health Checkup. This will navigate to PC Health Checkup download page. Click on the download page. After the download finish, Go to download page and click the installer. Installation will start shortly. PC health check window will open. Click on the check now button. The results will appear in a list. Confirm that your computer passes all the requirements. If TPM and Secure Boot did not pass, then you have to enable them in your BIO settings. Click the Device Specification button. This will navigate to Windows Check page. Make sure your PC is eligible to run Windows 11. This results is different from the Windows Update status because the Windows update status is still read that our TPM and Secure Boot still disabled on BIOS. According to the Windows PC Health Checkup, this computer is eligible to install Windows 11. But how? The update is not available. So we will update it manually. Watch this video to update the Windows manually. First, open your browser and go to the official update link. We put the link in this video description. There are some options to update, but the simple and easy method is using the installation assistant. Click on the download now button. Go to the download page. Click on the installation assistant. The operating system update will start shortly. This will take some hour depending your internet bandwidth. Windows 11 update will download in the background. So many questions about, will the data lost? The answer is no. If the process run properly, all of the data and all of the programs is still exist. In our experience, after updating the Windows, some of the programs will work normally, but we did not check all of the feature compatibility. As you can see, the update installation progress is starting. Wait until this process finishing. In this process computer will not restart, but later on the next process, there will be a warning message. Before a big blue screen appear, there are some PC checking, operating system updates, and more. Now is the main process of the operating system update. This Windows looks like a Windows fresh installation screen, but it's different. This Windows is also looks like a blue screen crash Windows, but it's not. This is the last screen of your Windows 10. Soon. After some restart Windows 11 is in your computer. Don't try to close the windows. Because you have to start the installation from the beginning. In this step you still can work with another application. Just press Alt plus tab on your keyboard. And choose the app you want. Now the restart warning message appear. You can restart it now or the restart will automatically in 30 minutes. Why 30 minutes? You have to save your work. After some few restart, your computer is now run Windows 11. The big difference is in the taskbar location. To make sure this is Windows 11, 
Open the About This PC. As you can see, now this computer is running on Windows 11 Home Single Language. The OS version is 21H2. Thanks for watching this video. See you on the next video.